Yo, hello, it's Plavikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the rainbow effect. Let's begin. First thing you will want to do is make a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, and now you need to add S Dissolve Luma. Make the Dissolve percentage 27%. Now you need to add Deep Glow. Make the Exposure 2 and the Radius 1000. Add S Pseudo Color. Here you need to go to the start of your clip and make the Frequency 2. Add S Motion Detect. Add S Edge Detect, make the edge smooth free, add BTT Lens Blur OBS. In quality make it sharper, go to Gamma and make it 800. Now go to the start of your clip, press on the stopwatch to keyframe it and make the iris scale 10. Also make the scale X 70 and scale Y 70. Add S Flicker, make the amplitude 0.83. Now on the start of the layer, press U, and here we have our keyframes. So this is iris scale and pseudo color frequency. Now from the start, just go two frames forward. So one, two, and make the iris scale zero. And now go six frames forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And here also just keyframe it at zero. And now what you will want to do is hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. Here you will need to let go of Alt and type loop out and press on this one and this will make it loop. Now go to the end of the clip and where it's as pseudo color here, make it 5.2. And now select both these keyframes and just press F9. And now we have made the rainbow effect. If you want to save this effect as a preset, just go to your adjustment layer and go to the effects, press Control A, and you can also hold Shift and while holding Shift, select these keyframes. I'm not too sure if you need to do this as well. And now go to animation, save animation preset. Just call it whatever you want. I recommend calling it rainbow effect. I already have it saved. And now oh. whenever you don't have the effect and you want it in, you can just press Control Alt Y. And here you can type rainbow effect, add it on here. Now you can press U and you can move your keyframes to the start of your clip. If you want to make your clips even cooler, then you can just completely turn off your rainbow effect and you can press Control Y to make a new adjustment layer. And when you have made a new adjustment layer, you can add some of our effects from our Halloween pack. So for example, if you have the pack, you can just type Halloween effect 8 and that's it. You already have a really insane looking effect. It changes the colors as well. It dips down, it dips up. Personally, my favorite probably effect from the whole pack is Halloween effect 12. All you need to do is just add it here. And if you want to spice it up, you can just press T on the layer and you can make the opacity a little lower than 100 so maybe like 80. This pack is in our website editing visuals. I would really recommend to check it out. I hope y'all have learned something from this video. Remember to always test out different settings from here because it will help you to be more creative and come up with other ideas. All right have a fun and productive day. See ya.